Hello everybody and welcome back to the vlog. Today is Wednesday at 105. Today I am going thrifting. I'm gonna go to L Train Vintage. Possibly two locations, but I'm gonna start with one, see how I feel, see how much stuff I get, and then if I don't get that much stuff, then I'll probably go to a second one. But yeah. Today is a thrifting day. I've already gotten ready. I'm gonna show you an OOTD. An OOTD? OOTD? Okay, it's not even gonna be full length. Why is my camera like that? Okay, this is the OOTD. Pink pants, thrifted. Top, Shein. I don't, why did I do, anyways. Top, Shein. Shoes, low uh, bands. And then I just have on just one necklace, bracelet, and some sunglasses. And then I really like how I did my hair today. I have it in like these little two braids that kind of remind me of the daughter from the Adams Family, but like just without all the black and without all the like looking like a murderer. I need to get going and start leaving the house because I don't want to be out late thrifting. So I'm going to start to get going now. But before I go, I want to tell you guys like the plan for my thrifting because I feel like the best thing to do is to always have a plan before you go thrifting. This is like a little tip, a little tippity tip tip. Always have a plan before you go into the thrift store because I feel like it can be very overwhelming, especially if it's like a big one or if it's like a Goodwill where everything's just like thrown around and it's like you don't know what you're really going in there for. So you end up like either buying a bunch of stuff or buying nothing at all because you have no idea what you need or what you wanted originally like you go in there and you see like a cow hat or like yellow jeans and you're like oh but then you come back home and you're like why did i buy that i didn't need that so i've compiled a list of the things that i need going in that way i stay focused especially because um i'm a little strapped for cash <laughs> just a little bit just a little bit i made a thrifting list so i have over shirts with like funky patterns or just like regular ones like white ones colored ones anything like that which is really trendy for the summer to go over bikinis or to go over just like regular outfits and spice it up denim jeans because you can never have enough denim jeans denim shorts because i have none that that are acceptable to wear this summer. And then tank tops and baby tees. So that's what I'm going into this thrifting experience looking for, and then we'll see what we get out of it. I'm going to pack my tripod just in case I have a moment to take a photo. That's why I like this one because it's just like so portable. You just drop this in your bag and it's like nothing. And then if you see a cute location, but you're all alone and I'm going to take a picture, then no need to fear, you have your tripod. Let me put this in my bag. What else do I need? My portable charger for both my camera and my phone. My camera charger and my phone charger. Hand sanitizer, especially needed when you go in thrifting because you're going to be touching a bunch of crap. And I forgot to spray perfume today, so I think I'm going to do some Florianto Almond from Dossier. Am I forgetting something? I don't know what mask I'm gonna wear, but I figured that out. Probably gonna be a gray one. I really wanna get like cuter, funkier, nicer type of masks that like will like match each of my outfits, you know? Oh, headphones, very important. Very important. I just got done filming this TikTok. I made a new TikTok, by the way. It's right here. It'll be linked down below, of course, and I'll put it on the screen, but go follow that. I think I'm gonna start doing fashion-related TikToks and also like lifestyle and also like New York City-related TikTok vlogs or just like quick little videos. Not really like the... Oh, where was mine? Bought it. Always needed. All right, let's go. I'll just throw in a sweater because it's probably gonna get windy. So I want something that I'm able to zip up. It doesn't do any justice for the outfit, but honestly, I'm still a little iffy on this outfit. It's a little, a little crazy, but um, I'm just going thrifting. So it's not like the outfit that I walk in with has to really look that good. Saturday. 
This L train ended up having an entire rack filled of all the button up shirts I was looking for. This section was the men's section, but there was a women's section with more tighter fitting ones that I went to later. But I spent at least an hour going through this entire rack, looking at every single button up shirt. There were so many cool patterns and plaids and colors, and they were all $6. The maximum was $8, I believe, for like any of these button ups. So it was a good deal. And then I got so many that I ended up needing a cart because my arm was dying. And then I ended up looking at some t-shirts because I wanted some oversized stuff for the summer, but I didn't see anything that really made me want to buy. And then I found this super cute like corduroy tan button up jacket and I loved the vibe of it and the fit was so nice, but I just couldn't see myself styling it for the summer. It seemed like more of like a fall piece. Man, I didn't feel like paying $8 for it if I wasn't going to wear it, but it was still super, super cute. And then they also had a section with a bunch of overalls but they were all way too big for me i found one pair of dickies but it was like stained with like these mud stains so i was like no nah, i'm good and then there were these leather jackets which were so cute and cheap but you know that's more of a fall thing rather than a summer i should have picked one out for next fall but you know i i just didn't feel like it and then by this point my cart was overflowing like i knew i had to put some stuff back because i wasn't going to be able to get all this stuff let alone carry it back home but i found this holy gem this marvel thanos infinity stone little like cartoon t-shirt and i was obsessed but at the same time it was eight dollars and i already have enough t-shirts so i was like no nah really so these were all of the button-ups that i ended up with the women's section had a lot of like cool patterns where the men's section i got more of the basics and then i ended up trying all of them on really quickly i know you're not supposed to try on a thrift store because everything's really dirty but i knew i was gonna shower when i got home so it was fine and it really helped to narrow down my decision and then i walked out with a huge bag so you guys will see a haul at the end of this video okay to eat probably outside and then show you guys what I got I also got this other package that I don't know what brand it's from it doesn't say the name of it on the package but this is gonna be for a collective summer haul coming up so stay tuned for that I ordered from a bunch of brands that I've been meaning to like try out and order that have been like on Instagram and stuff like that so I'm excited to do the haul like not gonna open anything up or anything like that until you know I get everything that way it's like a surprise for me I think I'm gonna eat outside and take advantage of all the nice days that I can before the mosquito vultures take over my backyard it's like the perfect temperature right now because it's like not too hot not too cold it's probably like 50 degrees but like the sun's kind of dialed down because it's like i think it's five o'clock yeah it's 5 30 and i got these are shrimp summer rolls and this is peanut sauce with it oh and then with that i got an original black milk tea bubble tea <laughs> thrifting is something you have to do alone like i saw a lot of people in there like with friends and then i also often go with friends and stuff like that but i think the experience is just so much more enjoyable when you go by yourself when you're by yourself you're not worried about taking up people's time like today when i was by myself like, it felt like therapy like it was literally so therapeutic i think i was in there for like almost three hours with my headphones in like listening to a podcast like blocking out the world and just like shopping and like seeing every price being like six dollars 
$20 max. So if you are going through a bad day, if you're having some anxiety, and your form of therapy is retail therapy, but your bank account doesn't match up with your mental health, and you don't have money to keep buying things from Zara to make you feel better, then go thrifting. <laughs> So, let me give you guys a haul. I know I dropped the receipt in here. I should keep that. Give you guys the total. My total was $70 and five cents for the bag. And I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 11 items. Okay, so I got 11 items for $70, which is like, you know, if you get 11 items at any regular store that isn't a major fast fashion brand, that's gonna be at least 400. At least, you know, 400, 300, you know, it's not gonna be under $100. That already makes me feel better. And also I paid cash. I was just saying to my mother that whenever I pay for things with cash, it feels like I didn't buy anything. Lucy, if you're gonna, like, 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 you can't, you can't, like, I got, I gotta, I gotta show them. Okay, I gotta show them. This is the first one. And then I have to wash everything. So I'm like being cautious. And I'm gonna like take these clothes off when I'm done. But this is how it's looking. It's real cute. Like I imagine this with like white bralette or like white crop top or even just blue jeans. I'm not even gonna fold everything up because it all has to go in the wash. And then this next one, I'm obsessed with. Tell me this doesn't look like something you would get off of beginning boutique, Princess Polly, I don't know, one of those Instagram boutiques for like $50 or something, or even $30 or something dollars, not like freaking $8 that I got it for. But like this pattern and these cup, Lucy, yeah, I'm obsessed with. Like gives very spring, gives very summer. I throw it on and I love the length of it. Like I can tell this was somebody's grandma's top. Somebody's grandma was really chilling in the club with this shirt, going to the golf course, going to the country club. Even this with like a nice white bathing suit or something. That one might be like one of my favorites like I really can't wait to wear that okay the next one is this blue one it gives very grandma in the elderly home that just got released and is going on her vacation to Hawaii and this one's super soft too vibing with it this next one is more like a jacket material but again I just really loved the vibrant colors in it it's like a more like structured kind of like a little bit of a blazer type but you throw this over like a cute basic outfit and it automatically just like adds a pop this next one okay this one you really can't tell me this is not like something you would see on an Instagram boutique and they would be like upcharging for it Zara hello would this not be $30 on Zara it's like giving everything that's trendy right now and like the way it fits me it's not too big I'm obsessed with this and then I got this green one and then it has this little like floral thing on the pouch and it fits so nicely but, like this could be like a cute little just like regular chill fit and you throw this on over it it's all button-up shirts in here but this pink one is next this is such a summery color and it has these little floral detailing and designs like all the way down and then this is how it fits on super cute super cute and then I got this basic brown one to kind of go with more everyday styling thing. And then I like this one because it was like a thinner material, so it's nice and light. So you can really like throw this over so much stuff to just like add a little bit of something, something extra. I got this one, which isn't super, super summery, but I just, I had to take it because the little print on it. So it has this little patch. It gave very a mix of, I don't know what it is. Like, is it janitor or is it like race car pit stuff? Stop. But then this is the back. I just love the way that the design was on the back. I feel like this gives very working at a diner vibes. Even though it's not very summery, I had a vision of doing a little something with like the red in the patch, maybe some red convert. What is going on? Or even these could kind of, you know, be a vibe with it. So I just got this basic black button up and then it has this little patch but it's also just a good basic throw over thing like literally i could throw it over any outfit maybe the top is super cropped or something like that and i don't want to be super exposed when i'm walking down the street now i just got like this black throw over to throw over i'm genuinely out of breath from doing all this and then the last one is just this i don't know if this is cream or if this is taupe but whatever it is like this corduroy type of material lucy please lucy please i figured this one 
on could be good beach vibe if you have on like a bathing suit or something and you need something to throw over let me take this off and shower and disinfect my life away so I ended up getting like the first thing on my list and I got enough for the entire summer I do not need any more button-up shirts these are all the button-up shirts I need to be fair I literally had none going into this and now I have 12 so that's good so I'll see you guys next time bye